Hi there, Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire coming to you from my Wellspring Holistic Center with a what you need and why. And today I want to talk to you about breast thermography. That is T-H-E-R-M-O-mography, breast thermography. What you may ask is a breast thermography? Well, it is a thermal image. Just take a look at this photograph. You see how it's blue and red and green and yellow. Those are colors that come from a heat scan. It is something called Curlian photography. Curlian photography sees aura images, but moreover, breast thermography registers problems that are in the body because any part of the body that is in trouble, that is endangered, will emanate heat. So for instance, if you sprain your ankle, if you hover your hand just on top of that ankle, you will discover that it is hot. Ah, any place that your body hurts, just put your hand on top of it, on top of wherever it is that you hurt, and you will see that it has pain, even if it's your tooth. So when you come to my office and get to lay on my table, which I'm sitting in front of now, when I do a treatment on you, I run my hand across the top of you because I'm looking for areas of the body that could potentially be in danger that may have not shown you that it is danger a brewing yet because it doesn't show up on the blood work or it doesn't show up in pain yet it is causing trouble underneath it's a it's a it's an under bubble that's happening well this is why breast thermography is so important this little thermographic scan can seek out trouble happening in a breast six to eight years prior to mammography. Now, you may say that, you know, why haven't I ever heard of this? Well, it's been around for years and years and years. It's been around probably for the last 30 years at least. Now, why isn't it standard of care? It's an addition to care. It is an additional scan. Just like if you go to get a, th a mammography and your doctor will say, hmm, we need to get a closer look, and then they'll give you an ultrasound. I always say, let's start at the ultrasound, but anyway, that's just me. And what I like about the breast thermography is that it is no radiation, no contact, no compression. No radiation, no contact, no compression. I like the fact that the thermography is just contactless, and it can determine everything that's going on within your body after the radiologist, of course, reads the scan, the thermographic scan. We are having a breast thermography day in my Pocono office right here in this very room at Wellspring Holistic Center to get a look around. And we are going to be right in this room on Saturday, April 16th, right here at Wellspring April 17th, please forgive me, Saturday, April 17th, we'll be here in this room doing breast thermography. If you would like to schedule yourself, it is $239. And Rebecca Reverie comes here from New Hampshire twice a year and does these scans. You can, if you have a flexible spending plan, you can submit that expense to your flexible spending plan to get reimbursed through your insurance. Yes, it will cover that. Uh, there used to be a grant that you could get from the United Breast Health Foundation, but they have not had it this year because probably, I don't know the reason why, but they have not had it this year, so it's not available. Rebecca will also be with us doing thermography in Vermont. So if you are joining us in Vermont, or if you would still like to join us in Vermont, few rooms left, you can come and she will be there because, of course, New Hampshire is very close to Vermont. I like this scan. I, I get these scans. This is my annual checkup. It's what I choose. I personally like it more than being squeezed. I also like the fact that it can detect something six to eight years prior to mammography. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal because if a body part is in trouble, the heat scan, it will show up 
as heat on this scan. That is brilliant. Whomever created it, bravo to you. But it's another diagnostic for women to have and men to have for the body, for the breast specifically. But you can get a thermography of the entire body. Yeah, you can. Now, Rebecca doesn't do those, but they are available in some place. So why don't you look up breast thermography at some place where you live nearby? Because every city, major cities, have one. And certainly in every state, you can find a practitioner near you. So this is what you need and why. And I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire. Until next time, God bless you.